August 28th, 1998. It's the first week of school and I'm already feeling the pressure some of the students and staff are feeling. As an elementary school teacher, it's my job to educate as well as keep the children safe. As such, I try to keep the talks about the bad smelling men to a minimum. I found that Aria the Dactyl works well in educating the children and keeping their minds off the bad smelling men. I hope everything blows over soon. September 13th One of my girl students, who calls me Precious Sisson instead of Miss Sisson, came to me and asked me about the buddy system the RPD has been talking about. She didn't want to be a victim of the bad smelling men her parents had been talking about at night. I knelt down and assured her that as long as she stays close to an adult that she knows and trusts and practices the buddy system, she won't have to worry about the bad smelling men. I pray that I'm right. September 18th. I was teaching math class when Principal Hill made an announcement over the intercom. School was to be dismissed early and for everybody to pair up and practice the buddy system. It was at this moment that we heard several shots ring out. The shouts and screams of the children are still in my mind. The one student that calls me precious shouted that there was a bad smelling man outside the entrance and the police at the door had shot him. She hugged me tightly as she cried on my chest. Now I'm starting to get scared. September 22nd. One of the students turned into a zombie in one of the other classes and bit another student. I heard that his mother didn't care whether or not he was sick, so she brought him here. Either way, we had to leave the premises as more children began to turn. The little girl came to me and said she would go with me since she trusts me. My guess is that the children turn so quickly because their immune systems haven't developed fully. My God, how did this happen? September 23rd. The little girl and I elected to stay at my house while we wait for help. I've shut all the blinds locked the doors, and turned off all the lights. Upstairs I watch as zombies roam, and I thought I saw a crawling monster with a long tongue out in the street. My student told me that she loved me as she held me. I have to protect her. <laughs>